In Egypt, a massive new administrative capital is being developed 28 miles east of Cairo on a tract of desert the size of Singapore. This new megaproject, which would include the tallest building in Africa, is a construction the likes of which the world has never seen before. If this $45 billion project is a success, it could represent the beginning of a new era for Egypt. The Egyptian government put forth the initiative to start this multi-billion dollar initiative to satisfy an urgent need. As it is, the capital city is extremely chaotic. Many streets are currently closed to safeguard the security of buildings and people, making it difficult to go from point A to point B in the city. That is why it's easy to believe that the new administrative capital, which would eventually house embassies, government agencies, the parliament, 30 ministries, a spiraling presidential compound, and 6.5 million people, is a must-have. The project will not only relocate governmental buildings from Cairo but will also provide much-needed homes. Furthermore, the government has pledged to include 15 square meters of green space for each inhabitant in the new construction. Before we continue, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to learn more about incredible multi-billion dollar megaprojects from all over the world. The new administrative capital, also known as NAC, is anticipated to cost approximately $45 billion. The new capital will also have a centerpiece green river, which will be a combination of open water and planted vegetation twice the size of Central Park in New York. As a result, the project is being marketed as an effort to combat pollution and make Egypt greener. The Egyptian military owns 51% of the administrative capital for urban development, the company in charge of the project, and the Ministry of Housing owns the remaining 49%. The military's massive participation in supporting the project exemplifies the merger of the civil and military in a country headed by a former army general, current President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. However the construction endeavor represents significant economic potential for all. A new city requires not just money but also cement, bricks, electrical appliances, carpentry, security equipment, and, most importantly, labor. As a result, this initiative provides an opportunity to create much-needed jobs while also revitalizing Egypt's fundamental industries, such as construction. Khaled Abbas, chairperson of Administrative Capital for Urban Development, also referred to as ACUD, indicated that the second and third stages of the NAC will be opened by the beginning of 2023. He stated that by the end of this year, more than 50,000 personnel will be transferred to the NAC's government district. The NAC is being built 28 miles east of Cairo as a mirror metropolis to huge Cairo and will house around 6.5 million people in smart and sustainable environments. Beginning in 2017, it will be the largest of many new cities Egypt is constructing in order to develop a new urban paradigm for 30 million people. The parliament, a presidential complex, government departments, hotels, schools, and a central business center will all be housed there. It will have an airport and improved public transportation connections. The iconic tower, which is a skyscraper currently under construction in the NAC, will have a total structural height of 393.8 meters when complete, making it the tallest building in Africa. It will have 77 stories, mostly for office use, and will be one of 20 buildings developed as part of the future capital city's central business district. When it comes to green energy, the NAC aims to be highly sustainable and truly integrate renewable energy into the city. Solar panels will be installed on the rooftops of the NAC's residential district. It will be the largest rooftop solar panel project in the world, producing 130 megawatts of energy. The ultimate goal is to meet the ACUD's target of providing 30-35% to of the NAC's power supply from renewable sources. This solar panel project's first phase began in 2019 and has already proven effective in supplying 10 megawatts of electricity to buildings in the NAC's government district. The city will have integrated utilities such as a smart irrigation system, smart waste management, and smart meters. Advanced technology will aid in the management and efficiency of these services. 
An integrated waste management method as well as modern recycling facilities will be introduced. This includes organic waste recycling as a means of growing local food. Within the NAC, a new water treatment plant will provide 1.5 million cubic meters of drinkable water per day. This will be in addition to the current water treatment plants in New Cairo City and Ramadan City. These will send a portion of their output water to a ground storage tank located within the NAC and an irrigation network will also be installed to give the necessary amount of irrigation water to various places. Sewage and rainfall will be collected using a primary gravity pipeline and eventually discharged into the new capital sewage treatment plant. The network was meticulously designed with stormwater management in mind. Egypt's new administrative capital is also being outfitted with advanced monitoring systems in order to establish a safe atmosphere with the fastest possible interchange of information. This system's key capabilities include detecting theft, tracking suspicious individuals or objects, monitoring traffic and crowds, and initiating automatic alarms in emergency situations. This diverse range of electronic services improves the city's population's quality of life while also promoting their welfare and keeping them informed about the world around them. Many fundamental communication functions, such as alerting people about traffic and congestion and responding rapidly to emergencies, can be automated. The new capital also makes use of shared mobile towers and fiber-connected infrastructure. Residents of the NAC will benefit from easy access to high-speed communication services. As a result, the city will be tremendously networked, but also heavily integrated into the global economy. A novel method of paying utility bills is also being implemented, as residents will pay their utility bills with a rechargeable smart card. This will result in an ultra-efficient bill collection system. The Knowledge City in the new administrative capital, which is expected to cost more than $953 million, will contribute to Egypt's Vision 2030. It will contribute to the development of an integrated digital infrastructure and network of smart facilities through its innovation center. These will help to drive industry innovation and foster a strong relationship among stakeholders working to achieve sustainable development goals. Egypt's new administrative capital is an innovative and forward-thinking metropolis. This is especially true in terms of how the city will use energy and utilities in its daily operations, and construct ambitious projects such as the huge rooftop solar panel system and improved utility delivery. However, the incorporation of automated smart city technology will also be a key facilitating component. In a nutshell, the new administrative capital will assist the private sector in making money while also strengthening its relationships with and loyalty to the government. It will help current President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi leave a legacy. The project will make a tangible difference in the lives of regular Egyptians living in the country's congested capital, and the massive building effort will help strengthen the economy. As a result, with a population of over 6 million people, the NAC will be well equipped to provide a modern and appealing living and working environment to propel Egypt forward into the future. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think the building of Egypt's new administrative capital will be a success and usher in a new age for Egypt's economy? Let us know your thoughts about the NAC in the comments down below. And if you want to see more mega-built videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Make sure to give us a like and we will see you in the next video.